What's up, guys? It's Malachi Barton from the Villains of Valley View, and you're watching Disney Channel. Whoa. Nice! So as you can tell by the different wardrobe, Ghost Spurs Go, by the way, and even though I'm not going to, I'm skipping watching the game this upcoming season, and, you know, the cleaner look, yep, I shaved the nasty ass whiskers off my face took and took a shower. So, therefore, it's time to react to the Casey Atwood installment of Villains of Valley View. And, of course, in a little, in a little bit in, the, in this video, Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion. So, Villains of Valley View. So, the people, the, the, the two, um, what were the kids' names? <laughs> So we had Scarlett and Kylie played by Jaden Triplett and Gianna Bilby. So nice to meet both of you young ladies. Both of y'all did a hell of a job tonight, even though Jaden got more screen time as Scarlett there. And um, uh, Kylie, you know, um, Gianna did as Kylie, but <laughs> I'm surprised neither one of you had any like little, yeah, I'm surprised you guys had little to no suspicion, suspicion on who that Colby doll really was. I mean, obviously the act actors in real life know, but of course the characters don't. But I don't know how Scarlet never got suspicious about who um, Havoc really was, let alone it, it was Amy, you know. And the stuff we saw Amy do tonight proves exactly why we call her Billy Badass. And oh yeah, Isabella, I know you're busy with your man, your real life boyfriend and taking a vacation, but don't forget about that video call that I can actually kind of meet you face to face, even if it means we have to wait a while until we meet in person. And um, Kaden, M Mila Jillian and Mariah, I mean... Hopefully you guys will be able to like you know um follow my both my TikToks you know you know Caden has two accounts so do I so hopefully Caden follows my TikTok from both of both my TikToks from both of her TikToks so anyway but I mean Amy was you know teaching you know her some bad you teaching Scarlett some bad shit obviously and you know Hartley didn't wasn't having any of any of it. And so they kind of like, you know, kind of fix that shit without having any suspension on who Amy really was and who the Colby doll really was. I mean, little brother almost gave it away. It was the only Kyle Petty close call of the night. Usually we have so many of those, but there was only one Kyle Petty close call. And nobody tried to get suspicious on what the hell was going on in the basement with, um, you know, Jake, um, Vic, and Eva. You know, hey, how they swap superpowers. And, hey, Chris and Brian, was this an intentional? reference to the Live and Love Eat a Lab that's episode called Chip Switch where Adam Bree and Chase accidentally, you know, flip flop, you know, bionic abilities and you know what they've all actually flip flop their own bionic chips. Can you explain that shit to me? Was this intentional? If so, Chris and Brian are doing a hell of a job making so many lab rats connections to this show that they also created themselves like they did Live and Love Eat a Lab Rats many years back, even though I was there well, 2015, 16 and 17 2015 when it was getting ready to end its original run 2016 i stayed with it with the lead force it was going back and watching some older season three episodes and by the time it all came to a crashing halt not that i wasn't upset that it ended it was upset the way it ended for those of you who have known me on social media before you know my variety came 2017 18 and beyond um i um I was just not, I was upset that Lab Rats ended. I was upset the way it ended. But then that kind of was a blessing in disguise because it allowed me to go back in time to the rest of season three and all of season one and season two I missed while I was in Victorious Land on Nickelodeon in the Sandhurst House in Brook Park because without, you know, Tyler and Kyle Lasko, for me, there's no Lab Rats and there's no Chris Peterson and Brian Moore. There's no Villains of Valley View. And, you know, meeting Chris and Brian allowed me to meet John D. Beck and Ron Hart. Because without that connection, there's no side hustle. Meaning there's no That Girl Lele meeting no David Arnold, which premieres their second season on Thursday. But keep in mind, we still have to finish, um, you know, Danger Force and Side Hustle before we can move on to That Girl Lele. So it doesn't matter the weather conditions, you know, or whether we have work or not. We have to finish Danger Force and Side Hustle. We're going to do Side Hustle one day and then Danger Force another day. And then we're going to be back in, in the game with That Girl Lele on Thursday. So since, you know, the Young Dylan premieres the week after Lele premieres, so... Therefore, we're going to watch back-to-back -back episodes of Lele. And if there's time this coming Thursday after the Lele back-to-back -back season, Super Mayor of the Steve Park and Rusty Wallace installment. 
Then we'll go outside and do a reaction video out there, just like I will do from the second week beyond the Dale Senior Austin Dillon installment beyond. After one episode, we're just going to go outside and do our reaction videos out there. You know, that way we can get some fresh air, but also not miss what's going on on TV. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm, I'm talking about Nickelodeon in a Disney Channel video. But yeah, so therefore, I'm glad you know Amy kind of talked her some sense into herself. And you know, was trying to teach, you know, Scarlet from right from wrong, right from wrong. And so I'm glad that that family that, you know, but it was kind of wrong of Scarlet to, you know, trick, you know, Hartley and Amy into going into the trash to dig for that Colby doll like Dick Trick only to find out that she donated to her family, which thankfully she was nice enough to give it give it back to them. And of course, you had the power, you know, the little the power up, so what your know, ability switch in the basement, you know, kind of gave us Vietnam flashbacks to live in La Vida Lab Rats with the chip switch episode. Now let's go, uh, let's go to the second half of the video and talk about tonight's running of Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion, which also saw the Casey Atwood installment. Roll it. Hi, I'm Brandon Ross. I'm Brian Blanco. I'm Zaya Ingram from Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion. And you're watching Disney Channel. So now that we found love, what are we gonna do with it? That's the perfect theme music for what was the Casey Atwood installment of Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion. I mean, Disney should actually, you know, pay someone, a Latino artist, uh, to, like, make a, a fictional Spanish version of that song since it was a matchmaking episode. So let's get into it. You know the old say, you know how like Scarlet wanted her uncle to be happy and shit, and and I'm I'm glad he understood towards the end that she meant well, and the fact that in, in the beginning it seemed like it wasn't going according to plan because um Scarlet thought you know just because her own uncle yelled at her both and regular person and and I like and superhero by night always yelled at her all the time, and the fact that the coach you know that coach you know that coach you know. The school's coach always yelled at people all the time and liked the same food. And even though she kind of let set the flowers for her, even though she made it, she kind of disguised her for being from Cruz. I mean, the, unfortunately, the 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 coach wasn't interested in him, and neither we, and, he, and vice versa, he wasn't interested in her either. So we had Catalina. We finally met her, Lorena Jorge. Finally, nice to see you make your little living la vida ultra debut. I mean. Even though the flowers, you know, of course, you know, you know, Violet didn't want to blow her cover to, you know, Cat, Cat, Catalina and um, the the coach, the coach, you know, what was the coach's name? All right, Coach Park. Of course, I Violet didn't want to blow her cover to Coach Park, and so Coach Park was had had herself thinking that Cruz legitimately gave her the flowers. But you no, know, even if he did, those guys were not in. Those two were not interested in each other, and that was when I said when I said on Twitter, "Damn it!" While I was live tweeting the episode, <laughs> and I thought all was lost until like you know, you know, and of course Cat Catalina was wasn't you know. Catalina thought it was legit, so she walked away in disgust. But then, when you know Violet came 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 through to her and told her the truth, and you know Catalina came to Cruz, you know was you know who was like taking time off from his gym gym you know gym, owning the gym duties to like be a substitute teacher for the gym teacher at her her niece's school. And so Catalina, you know, set up a date, you know, to go to a little restaurant to check out like Kevin LePage on which is Saturday. I doubt we'll get to see that date, but I hope they have fun with it. I hope their like romance carries into the next episode, the Dale Jr. We have two more episodes. Wait, eight, Junior, Bill Elliott. We have three more episodes after tonight until like we take the rest of the summer off and knock it out in the fall when we begin season two of Adventures in Autumn and um um you know you know start the 2022 2023 television season. So yeah, so um. Was there really any subplot tonight? Oh, there was really no subplot at all because there was no Louis Leon tonight to like you know, you know, harass the girls and give them unnecessary detentions and you know these pink slips and blah blah blah. But that um opening scene, there's really not much to talk about in Ultraviolet tonight except the only thing that's left is that Lily chick, you know, the one that you know 
you know, Cruz used to date, but I bet you, you know, considering, you know, when they, you know, got her purse back from that motorcycle robber, to the point when Cruz figured out in the war Black Scorpion figured out who she really was, it was kind of awkward for her, him, you know, and, um, you mean, it's not, it's, when you encounter an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend anywhere, it's not awkward unless you choose to make it awkward or they choose to make it awkward for you or for themselves. It's not awkward unless you choose to make it awkward for, your, awkward for yourself or for them. I think, you know, you know, Black Scorpion slash Cruz kind of made it, you know, he made that choice to make it awkward for both of them and Violet kind of knew that he get kind of, figured out that he knew her capacity but of course you know Cruz refused to like you know refused like Jeff Gordon to tell her and then her personal family you know you know um you know JC and Nina kind of gave it away and Tiago was in on it too but yeah, there's really not much else to talk about, but, you know, you know, stay tuned, you know, there's going to be like a rant, a Friday night randomness vlog, you know, you're going to be out there, um, by the time, you know, all this, you know, the bunk video is already up, by the time this is up, you know, already up, you'll be seeing a, a Friday night randomness vlog that I recorded earlier tonight, so therefore, tomorrow, I'll figure something out, whether it's Tim Duncan, Can I Recreate, or Garra Acción Isidore, whether it be tomorrow or Sunday, so have a good night tonight, and a better day tomorrow, life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it, it ain't for the week, God damn, be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. Always bet on the, on the side of love. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Sometimes you just gotta be present. You never fail until you stop trying and it never pays to worry too much about things. So take care everyone, good night. And other than the Friday night randomness vlog that I decided to record for shits and giggles tonight, I will see you all for the next video being tomorrow or Sunday, whether it be Tim Duncan can I recreate or Garra Acción Isidore. And then when we go back to work on Monday, we're going to finish out Danger Force Sight. Also, regardless of the conditions, to prepare for season two of That Girl Lele on Thursday night. So see you later, everyone.